navigating the eviction process in Massachusetts, understanding summary process and comfortable services. Understanding the intricacies of the eviction process in Massachusetts is crucial for all parties involved. In this article, we will delve into the roles of tenants and landlords, the summary process, filing procedures, involvement of the housing court, and key considerations during the eviction process. What is the role of a tenant in the eviction process? Tenants play a critical role in the eviction process in Massachusetts. How does the summary process work in Massachusetts? The summary process in Massachusetts is a specific legal procedure for handling evictions. Understanding the key differences between summary process and regular eviction is crucial for both landlords and tenants. Landlords play a crucial role in initiating an eviction case. They must adhere to the legal procedures and requirements set forth by Massachusetts law when filing for eviction. Issues such as non-payment of rent must be handled according to established guidelines. In cases of evictions due to non-payment of rent, landlords must follow specific procedures outlined by the state to ensure a fair and legal eviction process. What is the eviction process in Massachusetts? When it comes to eviction in Massachusetts, the process involves specific steps that must be followed to legally remove a tenant from a rental property. The eviction process is governed by state laws and regulations to protect the rights of both landlords and tenants. How does the eviction process work in Massachusetts? In Massachusetts, the eviction process typically starts with the landlord providing the tenant with a written notice to quit the premises. How to file an eviction case in Massachusetts? Filing an eviction case in Massachusetts requires landlords to follow specific procedures outlined by the state laws. If the tenant fails to comply, the landlord can then file an eviction case with the court. Understanding the role of the landlord and tenant in an eviction case. Landlords and tenants play distinct roles in an eviction case, each with specific responsibilities and rights under Massachusetts law. Navigating the housing court for eviction proceedings The housing court in Massachusetts plays a crucial role in resolving eviction cases and disputes between landlords and tenants. What is the role of the housing court in eviction cases? The Housing Court handles eviction cases and related housing matters, providing a forum for landlords and tenants to present their cases and seek legal remedies. What to know about constable and sheriff services in evictions Constables and sheriffs play important roles in executing eviction orders and providing enforcement services in Massachusetts. Understanding when and how to engage constable or sheriff services is essential for landlords and tenants involved in eviction proceedings. How can a tenant or landlord engage the services of a constable or sheriff in an eviction? To engage the services of a constable or sheriff in an eviction, landlords or tenants must follow the legal procedures outlined by Massachusetts law. Tenancy disputes can be difficult and emotional, but in Massachusetts, there are specific steps that must be taken in order to start an eviction process. If a tenant fails to pay rent or violates the terms of their lease, the landlord may need to file with the court to evict them. In Massachusetts, the notice must be served properly, either by a process server or a sheriff or constable. It is important for both landlords and tenants to understand the Massachusetts Rules of Civil Procedure and the Uniform Summary Process Rules in order to navigate a Massachusetts eviction successfully. 
failing to follow these rules could result in the case being thrown out of court or a delay in the eviction lawsuit.